Hello, how to solve for s in this equation 3 to the power of s plus 3 to the power of minus x is equal to 18. Then we have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of minus s can be written as 1 over 3 to the power of s. This is equal to 18 because if you have a raised to the power of minus 1, this is equal to 1 over a. Then, from here, let's multiply both sides of the equation by 3 to the power of x. That is, 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of s plus 1 divided by 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x is equal to 18 multiplied by 3 to the power of x. This will cancel this. 3 to the power of s multiplied by 3 to the power of s. This is 3 to the power of s square plus 1 is equal to 18 multiplied by 3 to the power of x. Then let 3 to the power of s is equal to y. This is y square plus 1 is equal to 18 multiplied by y. Then here is y square plus 1 is equal to 18y. Let's bring this to this side. We have y square minus 18y plus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Now let's solve this using quadratic general formula. We have y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 18, c is equal to 1. Then y is equal to minus bracket minus 18 plus or minus square root of minus 18 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 then y is equal to 18 plus or minus square root of minus 18 square that is 324 minus 4 times 1 times 1 that is 4 then divided by 2 times 1 that is 2 here we have y is equal to 18 plus or minus square root of 324 minus 4 that is 320 divided by 2 then y is equal to 18 plus or minus square root of 320 can be written as square root of 64 multiplied by 5. This is equal to 18 plus or minus square root of 64, that is 8 root 5 over 2, and this is also over 2. Therefore, y1 is equal to 18 plus 8 root 5 over 2 and then y2 is equal to 18 minus 8 root 5 over 2. Then from here, 2 here 1, 2 here 9, 2 here 4. Here, 2 here 1, 2 here 9 to the 4. So y1 is equal to 9 plus 4 root 5. And then y2 is equal to 9 minus 4 root 5. But 
3 to the power of s is equal to y then 3 to the power of s is equal to 9 plus 4 root 5 or 3 to the power of s is equal to 9 minus 4 root 5 then from here let's take the log of both sides log 3 to the power of s is equal to log 9 plus 4 root 5 and s log 3 is equal to log 9 plus 4 root 5 let's divide both sides by log 3 divided by log this we cancel this s is equal to then we have log 9 plus 4 root 5 then from the change of base this is base 3 this is the value of s1 and let's consider the s2 from here we take the log of both sides again. We have log 3 to the power of s is equal to log 9 minus 4 root 5. And this is s log 3 is equal to log 9 minus 4 root 5. And then Let's divide both side by the log 3 divided by log 3. This will cancel this. S2 will be equal to log 9 minus 4 root 5 base 3. This also the final answer. Therefore, then from here we can see that s1 is equal to log 9 plus 4 root 5 base 3 and s2 is equal to log 9 minus 4 root 5 base 3. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.